Hey everybody, I did my first interview with the Canon T2i today and worked out pretty well um, for my solardave.com site. I used um, a reflector, uh, my 43 inch reflector, and I used the silver side um, and not the gold side. I don't know, if, I think the gold side's for outside. And the silver side worked pretty well. What I did is I bounced um, the light coming from the, uh, it's the east window. It was hitting the floor um, hitting the uh, reflector and bouncing up on the uh, the shadowed side of his face and I set up the laptop so I could watch it but to be honest the laptop screen I have an HP um, mini I think it's 311 and that the display is it's, it's just not good enough when you compare it to the display on the back of the camera so does anybody know how to display the time elapsed in the recording because during the interview process I had no way of knowing what, how far along I'd gone and I know there's a 12 minute limit for each video clip so if anybody knows how that works. Also it's kind of frustrating I wanted the, since the the person I was interviewing was about five six feet away from the T2i I wanted to remote the Rode microphone which like right now is on top of my camera but I wanted to get actually closer and maybe come up on the side get it closer to him so I didn't have as much room reverberation and there is no thread for a standard mic stand because I have a, like an audio mic stand so this thread right here I don't have that will not fit the Rode microphone insane I don't know it's just silly I don't know why that is because here is the uh, 20 foot mic cable and I was going to plug one side into the camera and the other connector into the uh, Rode microphone get the microphone even closer to them and I couldn't use it because I had no way of mounting the Rode microphone on the cable, the microphone stand. I think the audio is getting better, but if there are any other suggestions um, on how to make my interview segments look better, let me know. 